Mesut Ozil has retired from football. Jules, he's 34, only made a couple of appearances for Basaccia here this season. How do you see his legacy? This one's complicated, so take your yeah. time. Yeah, I'll start and then you tell me what you think. I think he's an incredible talent, one of the most gifted players that we've seen in recent years, certainly I think in German history uh, at his peak and it's probably between 2010 and 2014, so the three years at Real Madrid, then winning the World Cup with Germany. Maybe you could add one season or two with Arsenal at a time where it was difficult under Wenger. Um, I just think that on his day, he was the assist king. He was the, cre the creative king, really. I don't think we will see anytime soon someone with that vision, with that passing quality, the perfect pass at the perfect time on the, with the perfect weight on the ball. Some of those passes, I think, will stay in our mind forever. The goal that he scored, for example, against Ludo Goretz, where his dummy sat down two defenders, also will stay in our minds. But he still, there's a feeling that he hasn't fulfilled all that potential. Mm. And in the end, I think that might stay with it too. Yeah, I think it'll stay with him despite, obviously, the, the, the titles he's won, including the, the big one. And he won the World Cup as a really important player. Yeah, yeah. Some people say, like, oh, he was born in the wrong era. The game passed him by because in the past, he just would have been a pure number 10. He would have been, like, you know, European Riquelme. Maybe to some degree, but let's not forget, when he was playing for Germany especially, when they were really pressing the crap out of the opposition, you know, his numbers, he covered a lot of ground. Yeah, he worked yeah. really, he could really do hard. It. So, so, I, I just feel... There's something more to him, and part of the reason, you know, this is somebody who spoke out. He spoke out about the the, the, the Uyghurs when he was at yeah. Arsenal. He was not afraid to back down from that dispute with Arsenal. Whatever way you think right or wrong, he had that enormous contract, and clearly the wrong contract was given to him. I, I have a lot of respect for him um, as a person as well as as a player. Yeah. Emmanuel Adebayor has uh. made it two Arsenal <laughs> legends retiring in 24 hours. Jules, again, put him in context for us. And by the way, I love the fact, for those who lost track of him, at the end of his career, he's made his money. What does he do? He goes back home to Togo and he plays for a club called Samasi yeah. or whatever. Doesn't need to do that. He no, yeah, fascinating character, really on and off the pitch. I think really talented for his physique. This totally a bit lanky, I give you that, but still highly technical with, with a sense of goal when he wanted to. It was a lot when he wanted to with Manu, really. Uh, again, the, the sort of potential, the fulfilling potential that we talked about, Ozil, I think he's still there. I think he could have had a much better career than he had if he really wanted to, because I think he had incredible potential. Still good, obviously, at Arsenal, especially one really good season or even half of the season. A City, a Spurs, he went to Real Madrid. Still, some people are wondering how, but he still did and played for them uh, with an unlikely number still, but. But regardless, um, and I, off the field, unpredictable. I think that would be the right way of, of I think, putting him. I remember, uh, I have my own Adebayor story. Uh, many, many, many years ago, uh, a friend of mine who's an agent, he took a player to Monaco, uh, an Italian player named Joseph O'Shadigan, who since kind of disappeared. But, uh, I mean, this is a long, long time ago. And so he invited me along, oh, you know, watch training, let's, let's, let's hang out. So we're watching the first team train and nearby uh, on a pitch, or I think the first team, maybe they weren't even training, maybe they were just doing drills, whatever, there was like a mini pitch and where the, the, uh, the younger players were training. And there's this guy who's like, I mean, he looks like a skyscraper towering over the yeah. kids. And like, you know, the ball sticks to his feet, he was, was part Ibra, but then he was so strong and had a physicality. And that was Adebayor. And like they're saying, oh yeah, this kid, they're so excited for him here. You know, and uh, I don't know if that was, was that his first club or, well, obviously not. But, or, yeah, he was at Mets before, but then, yeah, he was. Um, and I remember seeing that, I'm like, wow, like I wonder what's gonna happen and, this uh, time. And he had and quite a career. Adebayor who slept, who has, has pajamas, had his own shirt. Like he was wearing a sh his own, one of his, one of his shirts with his name in the back and his number. Would wear it to, to sleep, yeah. <laughs> which I've always found. We took the Eurostar a few times together for international break. Well, you know, we used to go at the same time often. And I knew his agent at the time really well. And, uh, and yeah, he told me this story just so randomly, saying that, yeah, he's, as his pajamas, is one of his uh, club shirts. Does he then wear like the shorts? As I don't know, well? I don't know. He only mentioned the shirt. Maybe he's naked easy? underneath. I don't know. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah.
Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.